In this video, we are going to show you how to master the supercharts in under 10 minutes, including showing you some features you may already know about, but more importantly, demonstrating the new features that are now on the platform for you. Now, when you get to tradingview.com, the first thing you want to do is hover your mouse over products and then click supercharts. Instantly, you will be presented with a chart that looks something like this. And of course, that's going to depend if you're on light mode or dark mode. Keep in mind, your profile can be found up here at the top left, and there's a nice little toggle for dark theme or light mode theme. But to get started, you want to make sure you understand all of the capabilities of the symbol search. Now, I have AAPL up here at the top. That means Apple. That's the company in stock, Apple. Now I can see its price action right here through time. But if I click this symbol search, I now have the power to search for any symbol that my heart desires. And to give you an idea of the capabilities available here, you can see it says all, or I can narrow this down by stocks, funds, futures, forex, crypto, indices, bonds, economic data, and most recently, options data. That's right, you can chart options as well. Keep in mind that as you click through these various filters for asset classes, you're going to want to make sure you fully understand the capabilities to do things like, I only want to see symbols from specific countries. In addition, you can see all of the data sources that are coming from those specific countries as well, flowing directly to you here on TradingView. So you can see Japan, NSE, TSC, TFX, and so on. This, of course, is up to you, but make sure you take advantage of these tools so that you narrow down your search accordingly. In this example, I've got all selected. And you know what? I'm going to look at a chart of Netflix. So I type in NFLX. I click Netflix, and just like that, my chart changes to Netflix. Now that I've got Netflix selected, there is so much I can do with this chart. I can change its color, look, and feel as I need. So depending on what type of trader or investor you are, you're going to want to customize this chart to your exact needs. The first thing you'll want to make sure you understand is that you have different time frames that you can look into. A one minute chart is going to zoom you in where each candle means one minute. But if you wanted to zoom out to say a one week chart, now each candle represents one week. Look how much price action we're seeing just like that, going all the way back to 2017. Keep in mind that I'm moving my chart around by clicking on my mouse and dragging. I'm holding my mouse down while clicking and dragging it right and left. Or if I have a mouse wheel, I can zoom in and out just by pushing and pulling that wheel forward or backward. So now the next thing you want to know is that you don't always have to look at a candlestick chart. If you click this drop down here, check it out. We could do a line chart. We can do an area chart. We could even do an HLC area. All of these options are available to you. Go check them out and give them a try, including advanced tools like volume footprint and time price opportunity. For now, we're going to stick to a simple line chart. And here we have our line chart of Netflix. But let's go a step deeper because if we want to, we can right click on the chart. And by doing that, we open up this menu. This menu is going to show you all of the capabilities right here on the chart just by right clicking on it, adding alerts, trading it with paper trading or connected broker, adding Netflix to your watch list, and so much more. But what I want you to focus on here is the settings button. Go ahead and click settings. The reason why this matters is because now you can customize your chart from start to finish, including every little detail imaginable. Make sure you click through these specific categories here in your settings menu so that you know what's possible. For example, this line I have here is currently a white and blue gradient, line gradient. I'm just going to make this a solid color and I'm just going to make it blue. Also, this background here, I can also make this background into a gradient. And now I can mix together two colors of my choice. You can see the colors changing here in real time. And just like that, I'm creating my own custom chart with the look and feel that matters to me. You can do this in the exact same way. In addition, as you get started, you're going to want to explore all of the tools up here because they allow you to add specific features to your chart, such as comparing symbols. This plus sign means 
I can compare any symbol. If I wanted to, for example, compare Netflix to Apple, just like that, I could compare Netflix to Apple. I've got Netflix in blue and Apple here. Also, as I move my mouse across the top here, there's an indicators button, there's alerts and bar replay, and the ability to save your chart layout. So if you spent time designing your chart layout, you can click save, and now this layout is saved. Go ahead and click the drop down, and you'll see all of the layouts you've made before. Also, you can view multiple charts at once depending on your plan at TradingView. Check this out, I'm gonna click two. I've now got two charts right here before my eyes. Or I'll just go back to one just like that. Now let's move on to technical tools because off to the left here is where you can do any type of drawing in the field of technical analysis or just general annotations. For example, I love this brush tool because if I click brush, I can just make these freehand brush strokes as I need. If you have a mouse and a brush stroke, you can click and hold and draw anything. Even better, you can get a little more precise. If I go to a volume candlestick chart, click this trend line tool, click this starting point, click here, click again. I've now got a trend line on my chart that I can follow. Maybe price is going to come back and revisit this trend line as such. You can do analysis just like this as you need. Just remember for all of these drawing tools to hover your mouse over the specific arrow next to the drawing tool and then click to expand it to see all of these fascinating tools available to you. And you're going to want to definitely explore all of them to get a good feel for what tools you really like. Now, keep in mind, there is so much more here, but we want to make sure that we jump to the watch list details and news. The watch list details and news is how you can create a fully custom watch list of all of your favorite symbols. And if you add symbols to your watch list, then you can click through them just like this in a fast manner to see all of the symbols that matter to you. And keep in mind that you can add symbols by clicking this plus icon or right clicking as I was demonstrating earlier and adding it to your watch list. And once you have your watch list details and news menu up, keep in mind you can create multiple lists and customize and edit your list with this drop down arrow. I've got a key indexes list and a day trading list. I could make more as needed. Also, if I drag up this window, I now have a very detailed and dynamic place to view some key details about the symbol I'm looking at. I can scroll down to see such features. I can even expand these features onto the chart to turn my chart into something much more, in this case, a seasonality chart. Or if I wish, I can click here and go into news and read about news about these symbols or check out some social media posts from people within the TradingView network on news ideas and minds. Now I'm going to exit out of here because it's quite important to make sure you know about alerts. Let's say, for example, this hit 11% correction. I want to create an alert and get notified if it goes any lower. Well, I can very easily just click alert up here at the top of the chart. And then just like that, I can see the symbol I'm looking at, the condition, the price where the condition will be triggered. So I can do, let's do price crossing down. Let's do 4.20 to make that very specific custom name 4.20 breached. And then of course the message alert me. And if I wished click notifications to customize where this alert is going to, then I click create. And now I've created a robust alert. Look at this dotted blue line. The second that this symbol drops down and breaks through that, I will get alerted on my phone through email or right here on TradingView. So now you are really getting a good feel for the TradingView platform. And don't forget in your indicators, metrics, and strategies menu, you can add technical indicators, strategies, profiles, and automatic patterns to your chart for even additional analysis. And here's the best part. If I add moving average, for example, to my chart, here's simple moving average, I can create an alert based on this. So this is some really powerful stuff. As you get started, don't forget to explore every button on this chart because you have a screener that you can access right from the chart in a click. You have an economic calendar that you can access right from the chart in a click. You have some options tools that you can access right from the chart 
in a click. And as you move your mouse below the chart here, you'll even see strategy testers, bar replay, a trading panel to connect such brokers, and of course, a pine editor if you're good at writing code. You can write code to create your own indicator. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This introduction video is going to give you everything you need to get started on TradingView. Stay tuned for more videos, and please keep in mind that we have a help center of educational content and over 300 plus educational videos on our YouTube channel.